Hi friends! These days it's an era of mashups. From food to music, everything that we see and enjoy gets mashed up and presented differently. Probably just to add some flavor and spice to our otherwise monotonous and stressful life. Although it's a matter of individual preferences, some of them get lapped up while others just bite the dust. Well, man in his infinite wisdom has started mashing up living beings as well and created new species that were not part of God's original plans, like ligers and tigons, for example. For the uninitiated, a liger is a wildcat created by crossbreeding a male lion with a female tiger, while a tigon is created by crossbreeding a male tiger with a female lion. Obviously, in the wild, lions and tigers rarely come across each other, and even when they do, it normally is in a confrontational mode. Of course, they do not normally live in the same territories, with lions being predominantly in Africa and tigers in Asia. A notable exception is the Gur Forest in Gujarat, India, where lions and tigers coexist. Even in the same territory, these wild cats don't go beyond their own species for breeding just as humans are not drawn to chimpanzees. So these hybrids being naturally born in the wild is out of the question. It's only in captivity where lions and tigers are forced to make do with what's available, and crossbreeding is effectively forced by humans on these poor animals. Ligers are much larger than both tigers and lions, while tigons are smaller than their original parents. Obviously, because of their novelty and rarity, they are attractions in several zoos and wildlife parks. Of the two, ligers are more popular because of their sheer size and the 2004 classic movie Napoleon Dynamite, which brought them to the limelight. The faintly striped liger grows to five feet tall and weighs up to a thousand pounds, which is twice the weight of its parents. Clearly, this rare beast would be quite a sight to behold and that's precisely what attracts visitors to zoos that breed them, and they are nothing short of a gold mine for these zoos. In the US, an Association of Zoos and Aquariums, or AZA, accredited zoo would not take part in such hybridization, which is normally done by unaccredited private zoos. However, several wildcat conservationists frown on these hybrids being created, when man decides to play God just to make a few bucks more. Luke Hunter, head of Panthera, a wildcat conservation organization, says that with hybrids, the chances of the genetics getting messed up are very high. Conservation scientist and National Geographic's program director Luke Dollar strongly feels that crossbreeding between big cat species is downright unethical and is a result of excessive human greed or irresponsible breeding. He adds that there is no legitimate reason for ligers or tigons to exist and wonders that, if we wish to really honor these majestic big cats, why should we be indulging in these unnatural and not biologically founded practices? The ligers are normally associated with several health problems. One, most often the mother tigress requires a C-section to deliver these large cubs that are much larger than tiger cubs. The tigress often dies during childbirth. Two. Ligers are prone to gigantism as they keep growing throughout their lives. Some zoos have got rid of them once they grow to a dangerous size. 3. Ligers often suffer from depression and confusion with age due to conflicting natural instincts and an unstable temperament. They are also prone to cancer and arthritis. 4. They have genetic abnormalities associated with hybridization. They are not strong genetically and tend to die young. Obviously, there are the odd exceptions, but their average lifespan is much lower than that of lions and tigers. 5. They have unique and complicated nutritional needs, which are rarely met. 6. Male ligers are known to be sterile and cannot reproduce. Therefore, female ligers require tigers or lions to produce tie ligers and lie ligers. Tigons, on the other hand, receive growth inhibitor genes from both parents and hence are smaller than either of them. But they too have health issues, and the males are known to be sterile as well. Mercifully, they are not as much of an attraction as ligers, and hence 
are rarer than ligers. Wild Animal Safari, a drive-through wildlife park in Pine Mountain, Georgia, had bred several of these large ligers. The chances of an entirely normal liger being born are one in eight, and those ones too develop neurological disorders as they age. Clearly, crossing the species line does not happen in the wild, as it was never meant to be. It results in diminished fitness of the offspring. Therefore, the real question that goes a begging is that what or who gave man the right to play God and create something that was never natural in the first place? I would really be keen to know your point of view on this rather interesting and ethical question. I hope you like this video and would request you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see some interesting topics getting discussed. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.